What's cracking, Celiacs? It's Kevin here with the G Free Show, and today we're trying out some mini pops. Uh, mini pops is basically just an air popped sorghum grain. Uh, so it's all G Free, it's actually corn free, and it's all organic as well. Um, so this is just a company based out of Massachusetts, and they're also, or it's all a nut free facility as well. So basically, just for some quick nutrition facts on these. Uh, for all of these, it's 100 calories per serving, and there's 3 grams of protein per serving as well. Uh, there's 3 servings in each one of these, so yeah, it's 3 ounces, yeah, 3 ounce bags here. So anyway, today I'm trying out the Itty Bitty Butter, the Nano Pepper and Herb, and also, sorry, I just opened these up, so they're a little full. And the, let's see, Hot and Chili, wait, Hot and Chili Chili, okay. thought I was reading that wrong for a second. So uh, first, I'm going to want to try one of the flavored ones. I gotta set something down here. I'm gonna be spilling. I'll, I'll be spilling all over. Big deal. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and try out the uh, hot and chili chili. So I'm not really sure. Like normally, I'm not a huge chili flavored fan. Like, I mean, I never used to like chili dogs or chili flavored things like that. But I like like homemade chili. So I, I don't know. It's just that kind of smoked. What is it? Yeah, chili pepper. That's just not my thing. So uh, anyway, let's give this a shot here. I mean, it's a little bit different texture. It's a lot more kernely, I guess, because, I mean, they're so small. Like, I mean, this is as big as it gets, you know? So it's a lot different from popcorn in that aspect. But the flavor is actually pretty good. I don't mind the chili flavor at all in this. And as always, I usually have to do the double taste on these, so. You know, it's actually a snack that I could get down with. I was more excited to try the nano pepper and herbs, so I'm going to be saving that one for last, but no, as far as this one, this is pretty good, so I'm excited to try these other two as well. Itty bitty butter is, of course, you could imagine it's probably going to taste like butter, but I'm just kind of excited to see like how buttery it is. You know, it's not going to be that like fresh, moist butter taste, I'd imagine. It's probably going to be a little bit dry, um, and currently as well, but let's see. Uh, so they use safflower oil and then just... Their organic butter flavor is just canola oil and just natural flavors, which natural flavors always just kind of bothers me, but whatever, it is what it is. When you do the little palette, you know, the thing, you know, that I've, you guys have probably seen this in a couple other episodes, we do that, but... When you do that, it actually is like pretty buttery and kind of reminds me of the movie theaters. It's obviously not that greasy buttery, but you know, for being, I mean, all organic, you know, gluten-free, uh, corn-free, all that stuff, this is actually really good. Yeah, I like this stuff a lot. All right, so like I said, the one I'm most excited to try is the nano pepper and herbs. So we'll just give it a little second. Oh, so on the next episode, um, well, I may be doing an episode next on this one. I don't know. Depends on how many responses I get on this one. I'm kind of talking about xanthan gum and or go, uh, guar gum as well. So gluten-free foodie, uh, at Twitter it's just gluten-free foodie, but free is just only one E. Um, probably just, you know, kind of got cut short on the Twitter name. So um, she had been talking about, you know, asking about xanthan gum and knowing that some sometimes the origin may be from wheat. So... You know, we're questioning whether gluten-free companies know this or if it's something because normally it's accepted as gluten-free, but there is this big argument over this. So I want to see what you guys may think about that and, you know, just kind of, I don't know, give me some sort of input, response, whatever on that one because that's something that I'm a little, you know, a little interested to see. All right, let's give this a shot. So this one, I didn't check out the ingredients at all before I tried it, just because it's kind of better to be surprised and see what your palate actually finds out. So the first thing after the sorghum grain is a lemon pepper blend, organic lemon peel, uh, a little bit of organic onion, and then organic black pepper, which obviously I expected the pepper, but didn't expect the lemon pepper blend in this one. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then also has some red pepper and then the safflower oil again. but. Really interesting, uh, a little bit different taste than I was expecting, and it's pretty good. I 
I'm just making a mess of myself, talking with my mouth full. I'm just giving it all for you guys. This one you have to have a pretty distinct palette, I guess, to really kind of get out these flavors. Like these ones are pretty full of flavor, but the nano pepper and herb, it's kind of one that's a little bit more surprising for you, I guess. Uh, all of these actually had, you know, their own little taste and, you know, real different. The the one that I was most surprised about was actually the itty bitty butter because I didn't expect to get, you know, that much butter flavor. I thought it was just going to be this real light, subtle kind of thing, but it actually gives it to you, you know, quite a bit. Um, the hot chili chili, pretty good. They give you a lot of flavor in that one, so um, if you're not a huge fan of the texture, at least you can get down with the flavor of it and the seasonings. Um, but yeah, I mean, really all of these are, you know, pretty good in their own right. So, uh, th I know that they do have a few more flavors. Uh, you guys can just go check them out. I believe it's just minipops.com, but I don't want to be wrong here. Uh, minipopsinc.com, actually. So, go ahead, check them out, see what kind of flavors that you have for them, or that they have for you. Sorry, but um, yeah, just go ahead and check them out. And then also, I just wanted to kind of, you know, go back to the whole xanthan gum idea, you know, and just kind of get your responses on it. So... On Twitter, as always, you can follow me at the G Free Show, and on Facebook, I'll just put the link right here and below the video, uh, and you guys can always connect with me there. So that's really everything for today, you guys. So thank you to Mini Pops for uh, you know allowing me to test out their foods on here, and um, you guys have a good one. All right, see you later.